Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here, coming at you with another video. So it is Monday, and that is the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We're gonna get started. Alright. Let me get some of these Kipper cards out here. Dear my loving and highest vibrationals, angels, ancestors, spirits, gods, and totems. I ask that you clarify the messages from you through me. I give you permissions permission to clarify the messages from you through me. I ask that you cover me in the widest light from the highest vibration as I deliver these messages to the collective element of water. That is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. So the first thing, so first card we got out here is a house. Okay. Now we have unexpected income. So maybe some of you are um, getting some sort of raise in income that you haven't foreseen. Oh, yep, there we go, gift, all right. That could mean a literal gift or you could use your gift to get some sort of unexpected income. All righty, let's try these first. House. What do we have for house for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Why is house here for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? House. Ancestors, why is house here? All right. Nine of Pentacles. Hey, okay, okay, okay. That's my pre-Empress Energy card, the Omniscient God. Submission to higher order identifies traitors and destroys their plans. So, Nine of Pentacles. Ain't nobody gonna get in the way of your fruition, okay? Of you, um, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to um, materialize here. And I'm feeling like for a lot of you guys, it's either a house or a move. Unexpected income clarified by the sun. All right. My heel, the vivifying God, restoration of life, protection from adversary, rabies, and wild beasts. All right. So that's unexpected income and it's protected. Okay. Ain't nobody going to be able to come in and mess with you or mess with it or anything like that. Okay. Okay. I thought that was coming out, but it didn't flip. Oh. We got the Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Ten of Cups, y'all. So Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. The Sun is Leo energy. And Ten of Cups is Pisces energy right here, okay? God, Master of the Universe. This is Angel number 71. Hiael, Divine Warrior, confounds our wicked. Confounds our wicked, brings victory and peace, okay? So ultimate wishes fulfilled, bringing peace into one's life with this gift here, okay? All right, and four of swords at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of this first deck, we have official person. So someone um, of uniform, of high honor, of high ranking. Okay, what do we have here? The Nine of Pentacles, clarify Nine of Pentacles, please, for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's too many, let me just get three. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? All right. So we receive Ten of Swords, Princess of Cups, or Page of Cups, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Ten of Swords is Gemini energy. And then we have Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. All right. So let's see. Nine of Pentacles being clarified by Ten of Swords, Princess of Cups, um, and five of swords. So I'm seeing that this nine of pentacles, or you attaining this, um, this, this home or materialization in your home, whatever it is that you're trying to obtain here. Um, I'm seeing that may it, you know, you've ended a painful cycle before you went into manifesting this for yourself. Um, you know, and it's something that you deserve. We know I always say abundance is everyone's right. You know, I, I, I get that Oracle card a lot. But um, I'm seeing that someone may have been, um, you know, a little petty, a little word witchy about it. Maybe talking about you, talking about how you obtained this. Um, I'm seeing here for some of you, maybe you move or get this, um, this home by the autumn, by the fall, okay? Or if you're having some sort of celebration um, in the fall, 
uh, the ending of something. This is Libra Aquarius Gemini um, over here. And this is Aquarius. And this is Scorpio and Libra. So I'm seeing that, you know, there's a lot of gossip, um, a, a lot of little petty lying and gossip going on behind um, your wishes or your fulfillment or whatever it is that you're trying to bring into fruition. But it's okay because this um, Ahuya, Ahuya, and the Nine of Pentacles angel that is out here, angel number 33, this one is a submission to a higher order and it will identify those traitors and destroy their plans. So whatever plans they had to maybe come in and disguise, um, you know, themselves as being nice or being for you or wanting what you want. Yeah, that is being destroyed. Okay, because they're not coming in for anything nice here. We have this five of swords right here. We know five of swords is like that real petty, sneaky, jealous type of energy. Um, we have the sun being clarified by four of wands, seven of pentacles. Okay, so minding the business that pays you, um, planting your seeds, uh, uh, you know, remaining focused and uh, assessing everything that you have planted, being able to, um, you know, have, have some sort of level of control over over your life, over things that it is that you want. We have queen of swords out here, which is Libra energy. Seven of Pentacles, like I said before, but that's Taurus energy. And Four of Wands is Aries energy. So you are your person or whoever you're thinking of could have these signs in their chart. Unexpected income that is going to make you ultimately happy, like I said, because it is something that you have been materializing or working on here with the Seven of Pentacles really, really hard. This may have been something that a lot of you have been working on in the background, okay, here. Um, this could uh, lead to a marriage for some of you. This could lead to some sort of celebration. But the Four of Wands also means a home, a move, or someone moving into a house or a home, okay. So I, I feel like you guys are trying to uh, manifest a move or manifest, um, you know, some sort of moves to be made in your life, um, you know, to boost it up a little bit. All right. Um, you guys have been praying or meditating, you know, turning to your ancestors, receiving help from the angels, the ancestors. All right. We have gift and ten of cups. So dreams coming true being clarified by oh guess what it's being clarified by the nine of cups so ten of cups and nine of cups are both pisces energy we have two of swords which is libra energy and the oh, ten of cups being clarified by ten of cups what more can you want okay this is just it's just validating everything that is out here for you, all right? We got the Prince of Cups or the Knight of Cups. And so now we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups out here, okay? Because we have the Princess of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups again, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So you're not juggling or deciding between what you want and what you dream for or what you need and what you're dreaming of. You guys are getting it, all of your wishes being fulfilled, and it's being wrapped up in a little bow for you by the divine, okay? The end of a cycle is over. You've accomplished everything that you need to accomplish. You've taken the actions that you need to take it, that you've needed to take in order to um, improve oneself, in order to improve one mindset, okay? So I'm feeling like this card right here is you. It is you being a decorated person, okay? You see, he's number 22. Two of the same number is balance, partnership, okay? 22 is an angel number. That means partnership and balance, all right? You see how decorated he is from, from war and all the battles that he has been through? He's official now, official tissue, okay? Official tissue. Four of swords here at the bottom of the deck. Mission protects against slander and input, input impious people. Sorry, guys, I couldn't say that word. But that's what this angel does. It protects you against those people who have anything to say about you, against slander, against the jealous ones um, who may, um, you know, try to slow you down with either magic or their words or by putting you down 939 on a timer, as I say that Prince of Cups here, all right? So someone's going to be making you some sort of offer here or either you're going to be um, coming into some sort of unexpected income 
but I see whatever offer this is that someone makes you, it's gonna be an offer that is gonna be fulfilling for you. It's gonna be something that is going to help you uh, make all of your dreams come true. It's like a no brainer here with the two of swords coming out with the nine of cups and the 10 of cups. It's like a no brainer. Like it, you don't even have to make a choice. Do you really have to choose between wish fulfillment and attaining your all your dreams like no you really don't okay and then we have nine of pentacles over here pre-empress energy so like attaining your fruition no you this, this is a no-brainer <laughs> that's what they're saying this is a no-brainer you don't even have to decide on whether or not you want to um you know like you've been through the battle you've been through the war you've been through it all you deserve what you're going to get coming and you know of course it comes with people who are going to be having something to say people who are going to be having their hand out um that type of deal but hey y'all got this y'all are protected what these angels are saying out here okay your life has been restored you are a divine warrior and so, like I said, you deserve everything that you have coming, okay? You've waited for so long for this. Now, this could come anytime between um, cancer season and uh, the fall, okay? So, I got some daily crystal cards out here the first card that came out is argonite release your emotional baggage so release whatever emotional baggage you have pertaining to this past situation pertaining to whoever this is that's um you know slandering you or jealous or talking petty or anything like that you know every you know we leave with love so everything that is just love and light to that person everything that they have to say is a reflection of themselves that's how they feel on themselves so just keep it pushing all right the second card we got out here is soothe your soul oh i love that okay and that came out on top of restoration of life so whatever this unexpected income is or this um you know this gift it is going to be something that is going to make you be able to just release any sort of stress that you have related to um money or materials or you know whatever it was that you were trying to materialize maybe a home a new home or moving because we do have the four of wands out here and we have house out here so moving into a new home or something new about your home that you were trying to manifest or materialize okay it is going to be something that is going to soothe your soul okay embrace this change because baby is coming whatever gift this is embrace it okay i'm pretty sure y'all gonna embrace it to its fullest heal your heart is right here at the bottom of the day it looks like it's making a little heart here too all right let's get some answers as to when this is going to happen i'm gonna get some angel answers out here if we could get a time frame on when this uh unexpected income is supposed to come so when is this unexpected income supposed to come for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? When is this unexpected income supposed to be here for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Okay. I'm pretty sure you guys understand that you can rest assured now because you put your faith and spirit in, in your guides and your ancestors and such. Um, okay. We have a year from now. So for some of you, this is going to all come together one year from now in the same season in cancer season. For some of you, you need to look back a year from now and, um, you know, see when all that's when all of this have facilitated and when all of this has started and you're just now coming up on it. OK, then we have not the right time and opportunity. So I'm feeling like this means like a year ago. It wasn't the right time for you, okay? You needed the opportunity to continue to grow, to continue to change, and continue to understand and, and learn, gain more knowledge and wisdom on um, what it is that you truly want and need and what your life purpose is so that you can um, ask for and obtain what it is that you want and truly need in life from the divine, all right? Be assertive. There you go. Be assertive in everything that you do. I feel like that's what you guys have done. Um, you were assertive. Meditation brings answers here. Four of Swords. Meditation brings answers, okay? This um, angel, number 41, that's for the Four of Swords, Hahel, his mission is to protect against slander and impoious people, okay? So meditate to bring those answers to you. All right. So I'm feeling like, yes, a year from now, all of this was facilitated and it started. I'm feeling like all of this is coming into fruition now. 
So hold your horses. Like I said, you got to be ready for change, baby, because it's coming. You're ready, okay? Forgiveness has been done. You've forgiven yourself. You've forgiven your past, okay? Your past has been forgiven, you know? Karmic justice has been served. You have paid your debt. Your debt is clear when it comes to the divine, okay? Peaceful resolution. So there's a peaceful resolution within the next few months. So I feel like this summer, like I said, between cancer season and the fall within the next few months is going to happen for you okay and the last one that we have out here is no okay so maybe if you ask the question extra question there at the end uh, the answer was no but from what I'm seeing here is um, also no means it is a full sentence you can tell people no as well, okay? Because that comes under meditation brings answers next to be assertive, all right? So there are going to be some people that you're going to have to be assertive with when you get this fruition, when you get this gift or this unexpected income. You're going to have to be able to be assertive, tell people no. <coughs> Ooh, psychic sneeze, one five 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 on the timer as I said that. Okay, all right. I love that. That's never happened to me before. Um, gratitude, spirit, gratitude Ooh, for that. Okay. Yes. So there are some people that you're going to have to be assertive with. Um, uh, they may try to offer you some sort of cup of love. They may try to send some sort of sentimental message. They may try to um, offer to do something with you or to go somewhere with you or something like that. But you can tell them no. Okay. And this is going to happen. We have at the bottom of the deck in the near future. Once you do this, I feel like this is almost like that last little kind of test type of thing. Um, under that is success. Okay. So you will choose six, you will gain success by choosing a new direction with this person and not going the same route that you've always gone before. All right. Um, with, you know, with your past, um, cause moving forward for you means unexpected income, a large gift from the divine. Okay. Or using your gift to gain this unexpected income and you buying a house here soon. All right. Within the next few months. So we have you starting all this off, kicking it off a year from now and you ending it within the next few months. And I'm so happy for you guys, because like I said, you deserve it. Get ready for change. All right. Continue doing what it is that you're doing. Um, your ships are coming in. All right. All you have to do is sit back. Like I said, continue doing what it is that you're doing. Continue putting forth the effort. Continue putting in the work. Continue doing what you need to do in the 3D realm and letting the divine do what they need to do in the 5D realm. Letting the angels set everything up perfectly so you can just sit back and let them ride the boat. Okay. No worrying. No stressing about when, how, why, and where. Just sit back and let it happen as you do your work and know that your work is going to 100% pay off within the next few months. All right. So if nobody has told you today, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, I'm going to tell you, I love you. Peace.